Ага. It's not easy. I mean, that's really hard because Newton also made a mistake. So it's not easy. I, I think to me, it, I mean, uh, I, when I read the book, I always confused by the constitutive relation. Okay. So is it? I mean. You, you 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 said that you didn't quite understand what the that equation really means. It's not it's not strange to me. It's quite natural, and I I I, I think the everybody in this lecture did not quite understand the constitutive relation. How about yourself? But you didn't ask me. You have to read. Okay. Okay. The book itself did not say much about the constitutive relation also. Well, there are many ways to think. Okay. One way is remember, uh, let me move on constitutive relation. Okay. Okay, one, one way to, to get a constitutive relation in this book is the any one-dimensional way can be written like this, two waves. And the C is the speed of propagation of function G and H. And we found that this obeys this governing equation, right? That's what we found. Okay? And as an example, we considered the infinitesimal element of a string okay. okay. We wrote down Newton's equation in y direction, assuming that there is a small uh, motion in x direction, okay? And we found that this is governed by right? That's what we found by linearizing force and motion. Okay? And we compare this to equation and we said C square of string has to be T L over O L. Okay? Means that if we solve this equation we can find immediately this is related with the speed of sound. By the same token, for the bar case, we found that the speed of propagation in a bar is related with Young's modulus and density of a bar, mass per unit volume. Right? That's what we found.
But this is the case when we are looking at the displacement of a bar or string, how the, this displacement or motion is related with other physical variables, tension or else. Okay? And now we move on to acoustic wave case. And we found that differently, in this case, the pressure, velocity, density, sorry, velocity and density are the physical parameters that are involved in acoustic wave propagation. Okay? And then we found Euler equation and conservation of mass. And then we need to have additional equation because we have three unknowns. That has to be the relation between pressure and density. That means in this case we have to find a certain law that governs pressure and density. Right? What law governs pressure and density? For instance, I have unit volume over here and I pressurize it. I put the pressure what kind of changes can happen in the fluid. In other words, the fluid of state will be changed because of the excess pressure. And also we know that density is function of temperature and some other thermodynamic quantity. Right? 